Welcome to another reading of Neville Goddard's The Power of Awareness. And today we're reading chapter 10. Chapter 10, Creation. I am God, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, things that are not yet done. Creation is finished. Creativeness is only a deeper receptiveness for the entire contents of all time and all space, while experienced in a time sequence actually coexist in an infinite and eternal now. In other words, all that you ever have been or ever will be. In fact, all that mankind ever has been or ever will be exists now. This is what is meant by creation. And the statement that creation is finished means that nothing is to ever be created. It is only to be manifested. What is called creativeness is only becoming aware of what already is. Dude, this is like seriously like pre-quantum physics, quantum physics. You simply become aware of increasing portions of that which already exists. The fact that you can never be anything that you are not already or experience anything not already existing explains the experience of having an acute feeling of having heard before what is being said or having met before the person being met for the first time or having seen before a person or thing being seen for the first time. The whole of creation exists in you and it is your destiny to become aware of its infinite wonders and to experience ever greater and grander portions of it. If creation is finished and all events are taking place now, the question that naturally springs to mind is, what determines your time track? That is, what determines the events you encounter? And the answer is your concept of yourself. Concepts determine the route that attention follows. Okay? Here's a good test to prove this fact. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and observe the route that your attention follows. You will observe that so long as you remain faithful to your assumption, so long will your attention be confronted with images clearly related to that assumption. For example, if you assume that you have a wonderful business, you will notice how in your imagination, your attention is focused on incident after incident relating to that assumption. Friends congratulate you, tell you how lucky you are. Others are envious and critical. From there, your attention goes to larger offices, bigger bank balances, and many other similarly related events. Persistence in this assumption will result in actually experiencing, in fact, that which you assumed. The same is true regarding any concept. If your concept of yourself is that you are a failure, you would encounter, in your imagination, a whole series of incidents in conformance to that concept. I know that to be true. I don't know about you who would think it through. Self-fulfilling prophecy, you know? I mean, you will subconsciously do things to prove how right you are. It's ridiculous, right? If your concept of yourself were that you were a failure, you would encounter in your imagination a whole series of incidents in conformance to that concept, right? Look at this quote right? Whole series of incidences, but it all starts there, right? Thus, it is clearly seen how you, by your concept of yourself, determine your present, so that is, the very exact portion of creation which you now experience, and your future, 
that is that particular portion of creation which you will experience